right, here we go. Actually, this would sound cooler with reverb. Hold on. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm doing this video with some reverb. Nobody does that. Sounds like a sports announcer, like, Harry Carey, the Cubs win! The Cubs win! <laughs> so, um, this is my first guitar. It was given to me uh, by my dad in Christmas of 96 when I was 15 after he saw me play his piece of shit. Uh, this is the only picture I could find of me playing this guitar and we opened for Living Sacrifice right here too, so it was pretty cool. And this bass was given to me on my 16th birthday um, following year. Not in this condition, obviously, like my guitar. Uh, I played this in jazz band in high school looking like this and never had a complaint, but... <laughs> Uh, I got more pictures, but this one, I'm wearing my cow and chicken shirt, so I'm going to show you this one here. Here's my second guitar. It's an ESP LTD M207 7 string. Um, don't play it anymore. Don't even have it like most of the stuff here. So my first rig was a Line 6 AX212 hooked up to a Ampeg 412, which I later sold the Ampeg and got couple Behringer cabs, but I took the head out of the combo and built a box around it so I can transport easier. Um, so here's some of the bands that I've used it with. And here are my next two amps as listed. Um, that's not a lie about the worst shit amp ever. Um, but bought the Fender amp off Craigslist and I recently gave it away. Uh, I said I didn't feel like selling it. I was cleaning out a storage unit, but um, I got my use out of it. And then the Bugera amp, that's a story on its own. Like I had that amp, I ordered it. And um, as soon as I plugged it up, it burned a tube. So they sent me a new tube, and it blew again. So I sent the amp back. And after six weeks, I got it back. And it still was blowing tubes. So I sent it back again. And then when I got it back, it had this all done to it when it was shipped. When I called and complained, I wanted to speak to a manager like Karen. I even got the haircut and everything just for the phone call. I mean, <laughs> I was I was ready. Uh, I was pretty pissed. Anyway, uh, I talked to the manager, the new manager rather, and he said, well, what I can do is send you any amp you want and any cabinet you want just for the time and hassle so he sent me one of these 412 cabs you see, as well as that the amp. Uh, amp was in good shape, but the, one of the 412 cabs looked like it, somebody took an ax to it when it was shipped. So I called and complained again about it, and he sent another 412. So I was left with, <laughs> I got a free amp and two 412 cabs, um, and I ended up selling all this stuff for 600 bucks to a kid and he was playing a show with it like two weeks after he bought it from me and um, it had stopped working on stage so I was like I I warned y'all so here's the next items on the list still play the Fender Telecaster which 
you'll see how I transformed it to its current state in a little bit. Uh, but here we got my setup I used in Exobot. <laughs> cab is the Bugera amp that was shown previously, the combo, and I took the amp out of it and sold it because it was a piece of crap, like I said, and just kept the speaker cab and hooked up the orange micro dark to it, and the blue pedal down there is a splitter, an ABY, so I used both that combo on the bottom and the amp on top. And I owned a Epiphone Les Paul, which played great, but anything I plugged it into, I didn't like the sound out of it, so um, got rid of it. And I wanted to change the look of my Telecaster a little bit, so I had a full body pick guard made, and I took the tone knobs off and the switch out. So I had the pickup going directly to the, the jack. And then, um, after a while, I was like, eh, I kind of like to change it up. So I had it spray painted to rose gold and put my black pit guard on top of that, which I glued some buttons of my favorite hardcore bands on it. And then it stuck around like that for a little bit. And the more I played it, the more my forearm rubbed against the body and worn it down and everything. So now it looks like this which I had it lacquered over, so now the paint will stay like that. So it'll look worn for good now. This is a box I built for the fender amp that I took out of that combo that I showed you earlier. And it's decorated with a lot of bands that had a lot of influence over me musically, as well as some games I really like playing. I still do to this day. And along with this amp, I used this pedal board setup, which I kind of tiered it to where I had the stuff that I would actively use on top. And then when you flip open the lid, it's got the stuff I didn't need to adjust, like my distortion pedal or my ABY switch or anything like that on my noise pedal. So, And this is a picture of me jumping and cab I ran it through, which I had to put some 2x4s at the bottom and put some bigger wheels because the old ones fell off and it just was a mess, so I had to modify it in my own screwed up way. <laughs> detail on another video about how it's set up 24 years I'm about to 24 more that's it